Alright, I'm going to do another one on sweep tubes. Um, since I recently got a um, Golden Falcon 10 tube 8908 sweep tube amplifier, and I did a lot of research on um, 8908 tubes, and um, well, we'll get to that in a second, but um, I had mentioned something earlier that the um, Big Fat 8908. M2057 and uh, 6LW6 tubes were 40 watt and pretty much all sweep tubes uh, normal sweep tubes like 6LF6's 6JE6C's and 8950's and all that are 30 watt and I had a few people tell me ah, no Tram Doctor you wrong I seen it on whatever or I did my research and an 8950 is 40 watt and I had some other ones say no a 6LF6 is 40 watt and I've even seen some and I've seen this on the net too that said an M2057 is 30 watt while an 8950 is 40 watt so anyway this video is uh, my comparison on those tubes um, over here we got starting on the left a um, 6LF6 short tube uh, 6 LF6 tall tube with a little bit bigger plate we got a uh, 8950 I think this one was Westinghouse we got another 8950 I think this one was um, RCA and notice the size on all of them those are all uh, 12 pin tubes and I've said uh, previous times that uh, 6 LF6 8950 and um, well 6 LF6 8950 and they brothers and cousins and subs are 30 watt tubes I've had people say no the 8950 is a, a RF rated 40 watt you know version of the 6 LF6 no uh, 8950 is a 12 volt filament only version of the um, 6LF6 and if you could look at the um, plates and the uh, internals of the tube they're pretty much identical the short one the plate is a little bit smaller on this late short I believe that's a Sylvania tube one of the later tubes where they went cheap but this is an old school big tall uh, 6LF6 and here's your 8950s and if I rub the um, numbers off of these they're pretty much identical between a 6LF6 and an 8950 so if the 8950 is 12 volt filament and the 6LF6 and its brothers are 6 volt filaments right so if somebody wants to say that you know 6 LF6 and or 8950 you know you get some say one is some say the other even though they look identical and they work identical to me but they say they're 40 watt tubes tram doctor you wrong well here is the actual 40 watt rated tubes over here to the right you know these are the 30 watt you know if you look at most people on the net some of them have it wrong and then here's the 40 watt tubes I'm going to sit right here where you can see both of them. Right here is the 30 watt 8950 tube. You know, nice size plate, nice looking tube. And here is a 40 watt 6LW6. Now tell me you can't see the difference in that. Right? 30 watt and the 40 watt. Not only is the glass bigger, the bulb's bigger but the plate is a lot bigger on the 40 watt tube and the 6LW6 is a 6 volt filament octo base that's that um, big plug in um, 8 pin base there instead of the 12 pin and the which one's this a 6LW6 or 8908 that's another 6LW6 but over here is uh, 8908 which is the 12 volt, volt filament version but not only is it 12 volt filament, the pinout is a little bit different, especially with the cathode and grid 3. So if it's um, a grounded grid amplifier, cathode driven, the 6LW6 uh, 
W6 and the 8908s aren't interchangeable because of the different pinout and the way it's rated. And last, there is a 12 pin 40 watt tube. Only one that's made, not a 6L F6, not an 8950. It's the big bad M2057. And all that M2057 is, and you can find this on the net, is that during the last uh, version of the um, amp tube, tube amplifiers, when TV sets weren't making tubes, GE had a lot of these um, 6LW6 tubes and 8908s, and they weren't using them on TV, so Mako talked to them, they're like, hey, take this and put it in a 12 pin like we use in our amplifiers, and we can use these for our amplifiers. So GE did that, and they came out with the M2057 which is a 12 pin like used with the 6LF6 but it's a big bad 40 watt because it comes from the 6LW6 40 watt and same plate great big plate big bulb 40 watt except they put it in a 12 pin too so again um, last M2057's 8908's 6LW6's are 40 watt and you can see by the sides and these little 6LW, LF6, um, 8950s, 6JE, 6Cs, all that stuff are 30 watt. To me, that's a fact. That's inarguable. You can see that, right? Anyway, that's it for this one. I don't care what you say or what the net says. Bye.